up you guys after Cherry Axia and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Roswell. Uh, this is season one episode six. Let's get into the episode. Sorry buddy. Notice that guy there. What? Who's there? Hey! What do you want, you two bit punk? This is all just a mistake. Come on. <laughs> it was all just one big mistake. Right about that. How did you already know? Hello? <laughs> Everybody has their secrets. There isn't a person alive today who's what they appear to be. Exposing these secrets is the job of the story even the most normal of us has extraordinary qualities just waiting to be uncovered listening to mr summers i realized how strange it must be for max isabel and michael not to even know their own history and how scary it would be if anyone discovered it before they did for tonight's assignment i paired you together it's your job as historians to find out as much as you can about your partner by asking these specific questions and then writing up an oral history report for tomorrow. These are kind of personal, don't you think? Exactly. Personal is the goal of the professional biographer. And who knows? You just might make a new friend. So the partners are as follows. She has a little, um... Daskal with Houseman. Uh, invasion with Nell. Parker with Evans. That's I, Evans. M. Evans is with... <laughs> Valenti. Pappas oh, with Cooney. Luca with Garen. Wait, did you just say Garen? Yes, Michael Garen. No, no, I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I mean, the guy's not even here. Well, then it'll be like true field work, tracking down your subject. Evans. Oh, thank God you're here. You okay? I mean, you look shaken by the entire incident. I feel so violated. Max Evans, the suspect claims that he invaded the premises at your behest. Please, he's a hoodlum. Max doesn't know people like that. Well, actually... Say it isn't so. Well, I lent him my keys so he could pick up some research we needed for class. I lost him. The, the keys, so I snuck in. I'm shocked. He wasn't trying to steal anything. I was just trying to do him a favor. I'd appreciate it if you didn't press charges. If there were any damages, I'd be happy to work them off. I suppose we, we could work something out? If nobody's gonna press any charges, you're free to go. Pick up your stuff at the desk. Thanks. Yeah. He loves sneaking in places. <laughs> Don't do me any more favors. Sure, you get mad at him for that, but you don't get mad at Liz for the journal situation. Get your copy, sir. Is that legal? I don't think that's legal. This is it. The thing for my dreams. Can we get back to the part where you got arrested, please? Look, it's over, okay? Max fixed it. No, it's not over. It's getting serious. I know. Marathon, Texas. That's where this place is. That's where the lock is that the key fits. I'm going there. Completely lost it. No, Isabel, I found it, and you guys are too scared to admit it. Give me the keys to the Jeep. I want to go to Marathon. Look, let's just wait until we can find out more about this place. Max, I'm connected to this thing, all right? I mean, I see it when I close my eyes. I dream about it when I go to sleep, and it's not letting me wait, no matter what you guys say. You won't get far without a car. Well, that's your, uh, hey, wait. your partner, so... <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream flavor? We have to do this completely queer history project for tomorrow. I'm busy. Will you just answer these questions, okay? Who's your favorite relative? Get lost, all right? I gotta... What? You've got a what? What? You driving somewhere? Yeah, to the lift-off gas station to drop off a box for my mom. The one near the highway? Yeah, so? So give me a ride and I'll answer your stupid questions. Your favorite flavor is vanilla? That's boring. Why don't you just bring them some ketchup or something? Bringing you guys ketchup. So how's it going? Great. Yeah, we're really getting to know each other. It's good. I'm glad you came over, too, because I was hoping that we could skip on down to question number eight. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> mm hmm How about it, Evans? No. You can't just make up answers. You said I'm making them up? You do not watch The View. It keeps me in touch with my feminine side. <sighs> Fine. You know what? I will just make up the answers for you. Good. Help me with the box. <sighs> Bad bag. Oh god, what are you, you gonna, are you gonna pinch your car? Bucks, cash would be preferable. 
You could just ask her to join you. He's stealing my car. You're stealing my car. I'm borrowing your car. Now get out. You're telling me to get out? This is my car. Actually, it's my mother's car. And if anything happens to it, life as I know it will be over. So wherever it goes, I go. Fine, you had your chance. Oh my god. You're kidnapping me. No way, you're abducting me. Hello? Well, here we are. Maria, is it you? It feels kind of strange, you know, being alone in a car with you. Your car alone with who? Not knowing where we're going, when we'll be back. Do you always talk this much? Wait, was that Michael? Liz says I talk a lot when I'm nervous. So you're nervous about being in a car alone with Michael? So, how far will we be going? South on 285, huh? South on 285? What are you... Great. Maria! What's going on? That was Maria. She's with Michael in a car. I don't know, she sounded really weird. Isabel! Come on, we have to go. But things are going so well. What is it? We found a car. What is going on here? The less you know right now, the better. Max, no. Look, not when Maria's involved. Maria? It would be her car with her in it. Going south on 285. I better hurry. Wait, no, you, you can't come. Trouble in paradise? So soon? She knows what species I am. Let's just mm -hmm. find them and bring them back home. Yeah, I... What are you guys not telling me about this? You know, Michael is the kind of guy that could be involved in some pretty shady stuff. You guys know exactly where they're going, don't you? Are you happy now? Go ahead. Tell them I kidnapped you and I stole your car. I mean, what's one more arrest on my record, huh? What do you mean this could be the most important day of your life? Forget it. You have 20 seconds to convince me. See this place? It's the first real connection we've ever had to finding out where we come from, and it's in Marathon, Texas. If I don't get there or if somebody else gets there first, the only link we've ever found will be gone. You could explain that to her from the beginning. Where are you going in such a hurry, son? I've really got to pee. I have this, like, really weak bladder condition, and I drank a big gulp at the last station and had caffeine, you know, so it makes me have to go even more. So he was just driving really fast so we could get to the next station so I could pee. Can I see your license, please? Of course, officer. There's a drive through about three miles up. Nice, clean restrooms. And watch your speed. You owe me, big. Great. Thank you, Mrs. DeLuca. I'll try her at Liz's then. Hey. Oh, he's gonna fucking screw um, up when, when did you get home? A couple phone calls ago. The Evans, the Parkers, and the DeLucas. Is this about Liz again? Anything you want to talk about? It's just... Max Evans. Again. What about him? I don't know. Well, he must have done something to get you so riled up. Just the way Liz is when she's with him. There's always something weird going on. Like, like today at the crash down, Max and Isabel leave in some big hurry and they take Liz with them. Like right in the middle of our conversation, they just drove off. They're not home, they lied to their parents. It's just weird, you know? You have any idea where they went? No. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll turn up. I thought you just got home. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot something at the office. Dad, what do you know about Max Evans? Carl, you stay out of this. What do you know, Dad? I'll talk to you later. Isabel? What? Sorry. That's great. I was just trying to be nice. Well, don't, OK? Would you check those in the bin? Bridge. No wonder you always look so perfect. You think so? Please. You're like the Elle McPherson of the sophomore class. Well, I guess that answers question number 12. Who do you envy? What about you? Who do you envy? No one. Isabel, I'm not trying to take him away from you. I mean, I could never even do that. I know. But what if you guys found something in Marathon? Would you take him away from me?
Thank you. I told you, hang up the phone if you ain't gonna talk. You've been clocked. Blink your eyes, do the Samantha Genie alien thing. Come on. <laughs> Why not? Come on, if there was ever a time to have secret powers, now's the time. They're not secret powers. I don't care what you call them. Just use them and get us out of here. I'm not that good at it, all right? Figures. What do you mean? I've seen you not struggle at all. Your car sucks. And so do you. Can't even open the hood. Oh, dear, that's not good. Now that I'm humiliated and the battery's fried, I'm gonna take the back seat. Wait a minute. Okay. You kidnapped me and you blew up my car. And you expect me to spend the night in here with you? Not exactly my fantasy evening either. Don't touch that, it is sensitive. Can you shut up? Oh, that's nice. What, what, my mother makes them what? Where are you going? Where are you going? See that motel over there? I'm gonna get some sleep. Now, Michael, wait. Hello? Liz, hi. Hi. So listen, I just talked to your mom. She said that you're over at Maria's. Um, yeah, that, that's exactly where I am. Was that a truck? Um, uh, no, no, that, that was just the, on the television. So, uh, what do you want, Kyle? I took your history book by mistake after you left the crash down today. I thought I'd swing by Maria's and drop it off. You know, you don't even need to go to the trouble. Um, uh, you could just, you could give it to me at school tomorrow. Are you sure? Because I'm very close. Yeah, uh, I'm positive. I'll see you at school tomorrow, Kyle. Maybe even sooner. That's right. How do you know where you're going? Clinton, Diane Evans, Roswell, New Mexico. Three passengers, all minors. Computer shows nothing coming up on Evans, although I do have a speeding citation on another minor from Roswell, Garen, Michael. Car registered to an Amy DeLuca. Mean anything to you? Where were they stopped? Heading south on 285. How do you know that that's where they're gonna go? You kind of turned. Like, like what? Oh, I guess you got the piece of paper. Ah. It's like the porno version of Aladdin. At least it's warm. I don't even want to think about what I could catch in here. You know, if you stop being such a princess about things... Princess? No. No, I think I've been a pretty good sport up until now, but I am cold, and I am hungry, and I am in some nookie motel with a guy I barely even know, and I just, I really want to go home right now. Why don't you stay here? I saw some vending machines outside. I'll go see what they have. Lock the door. Anyone planning on heading past Pecos on 285 South? Your plans have just changed. We've got an 18-wheeler jackknife just past Crown Gulch. All traffic is stopped. Great. They probably already made it through. Now what are you supposed to do? We'll just get some rest and get going when it's open. Wait, you mean sleep in the Jeep? Out here together? So you get hungry just like the rest of us? Yeah, of course I get hungry. But, uh... What other human urges do you feel? Not if you're the last woman on Earth. <laughs> Ditto. And so you'll know I'm not going to be getting an F on this assignment, so better start answering some questions right now, Pally. And I mean for real. Favorite ice cream flavor? Pistachio. Pistachio. Favorite TV show? When Ben Stein's Money. Favorite book? James Joyce, Ulysses. You have not read Ulysses. What incensed them the most was the blatant jokes of the ones who pass it all off as a jest, pretending to understand everything and, in reality, not knowing their own minds. Page 655. Told you you wouldn't understand. Next question. All right, if you're so smart, then how come you fail every class in school? What number is that? It's my own personal question, okay? I don't answer personal questions, okay? All right, fine. Then maybe it's the answer to number 16. What are you afraid of? I hate this. This is stupid. All right, how about just one personal question? You know, since I didn't turn you in back there. Why is it so important to you to find out where you come from? It's important to everyone. Because there's got to be something better out there for me than Roswell, New Mexico. <laughs> you think that's funny? No, no. It's just, um... 
When I was a kid, I used to stay up at night and uh, make up stories about my father, you know, and who he was and what he was doing. And they all ended exactly the same way. He would come in a limo and pick me and my mom up and take us off to some exotic place where we'd live like royalty. Because, you know, I thought to myself, there's got to be something better out there for me than Roswell, New Mexico. Substitute a spaceship for a limo and you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah, it's been a long day, huh? I don't suppose we could share. Not if you were the last alien on Earth. <laughs> we'll just knock. Go right in. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> well, we thought you were in trouble, but yeah, I guess we're wrong. No, no, you, you don't think. I mean, that is like so unreal. I mean, come on, would you tell them? Come on, honey, we don't have to lie. <gasps> you... I believe you. The day Michael calls anybody honey, it's all over. So I guess you're here to be supportive as usual? No, I'm here to clean up your mess as usual. Michael, what were you thinking? I was thinking I can't wait around for the two of you anymore. You like Roswell, and you like your family, and you like your make-believe life. That's great, Maxwell. Keep pretending, but don't think it's gonna last. One of these days, they're gonna find out about us. And when they do, everybody in this room... Kyle. How did you even know where they Everyone were? in this room is what? Get out. Why don't you go ahead and finish what you were saying? Or are you afraid that I'll find out what your little secret is? Are you afraid that I might find out what the hell you guys are doing out here? In the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night? <laughs> I said, get out. Michael, don't. <laughs> Who the hell are you guys? What's going on here? What are you doing here? None of your business! I'm gonna get you out of here. No, it's none Ooh. of your business! Leave her alone. Get, just, get off just of me! Just stop it, both of you, okay? This has gotten so out of control. She's not your property, dude. I am not your girlfriend anymore, Kyle. Lizzie? Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, and I don't care. None of your business. I just want you to come back with me. No. You don't belong here, Kyle. This is her None choice. None of your business. Yeah. Stop stepping in where you don't belong. I don't know what I ever saw in you. I'll take you guys home. No. No more secrets from us. Marie and I, we are a part of this now. We don't know everything. How are we supposed to protect ourselves? No, or how are we supposed to help you? We don't need any help. Right, next time steal someone else's car and try getting away with it. Do you want to know? Everything. That'll make you accomplices. Go ahead. Also, how did Kyle get this so quickly? <laughs> he left way later. I told you it was something. Well, I mean, you can still open it. You opened the door before. You come this far. Maybe I didn't lock something inside. Try holding the key again. Try it again. Why did it work now? There's something here. A room. Where? I don't know, it's hidden. Max. Isabel. The key, Michael. Okay, we've got some escape room shit here. Jackpot, Maximilian. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a kick. Oh, to be continued. God damn. <laughs>
Rude. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, alrighty here, well that was Roswell Season 1 Episode 6. Um, decent episode, you know, I've been left on a cliffhanger and I don't like it. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one.